In this video, I'm going to teach you how vibration can enhance your sex life in ways that you didn't realize were possible. I'm Dr. Rena Malik, urologist and pelvic surgeon. And if you're new here, I make content about your bladder health, sexual health, and so much more every Monday and Friday. So make sure to subscribe and share this channel with your friends. In this video, I'm going to cover six reasons that vibration can enhance your sex life and why you should incorporate it. Okay. So how does vibration actually work? The genitals contain a number of superficial and deep receptors. And these respond to different things like temperature, pressure, stretch, and pain. Specifically for vibration, there are specific receptors called pacinian corpuscles, and these detect vibration and send these signals then to the brainstem and the brain to help our brains process exactly what that sensation is. With these signals brings the number one reason to try vibration. And number one is it increases blood flow and circulation to the genitals. The vibration itself causes an increase in stretch of the blood vessels called vasodilation, causing increased blood flow to kind of stay around the pelvic floor. How does this work? Vibration causes an oscillating or fluctuating, meaning back and forth motion of the muscles. This stretching and shortening of the muscles increases the metabolic rate, causing the blood vessels to dilate, therefore allowing increasing blood flow to go in. This increasing blood flow can also cause cause the muscles to relax. So if you want to increase blood flow, they've actually looked at what kinds of vibration work best. And it actually depends on where you are in terms of your stimulation. So in the initial parts of stimulation, if you stimulate it like on and off periodically, that increases blood flow more. And then as the stimulation increases, later points, a continuous stimulation may be more beneficial. So it's worth experimenting with your toys or whatever you're using for vibration to see if something works better than another for you personally. The number two reason is that it increases libido. All this increased blood flow leads to increased arousal and desire to have sex. Interestingly, when they've looked at studies of men and women who've used vibrators in the past month versus those that have not, and they use these validated questionnaires looking specifically at sexual desire. So they've looked at these questionnaires across multiple people to ensure that this answer to this question correlates with actual sexual desire levels. They found that women who've had vibrators in the last month all score higher with sexual desire. And similarly, men who've used vibrators in the last month tend to score higher in areas of libido as well compared to those who have not. The third reason to consider using vibration is to improve sexual performance. And you might be saying, how does that even work? Well, with the studies have looked really mostly at men, but probably they're translatable to women as well. The vibration itself stimulates fibers in certain types of nerves, like the cavernosal nerves and the pudendal nerves, which are involved in sexual function. This stimulation causes a release in nitric oxide. And I say this all the time, but nitric oxide is like an ignition for erections. You need a good amount of nitric oxide in order to have erectile function. And this then causes relaxation and allows blood to fill into the corpora or the erectile tissue of the penis. In fact, vibratory stimulation is FDA approved for men with spinal cord injury to help induce ejaculation. It's also been used successfully in men who've had prostatectomy to help restore erectile function. So really great options for improving sexual function and in spinal cord injuries, even improving ejaculation. The number four reason to consider adding vibration into your sexual repertoire is that it can cause more intense and longer lasting orgasms. This is because vibration can stimulate different types of nerve receptors, specifically the, those Pacinian corpuscles we talked about earlier that can lead to longer and more intense orgasms. In fact, people who have difficulty achieving orgasms or what we call anorgasmia are actually treated with directed masturbation as a treatment and, and more multiple studies that has been shown to be effective as a treatment for people who have difficulty achieving orgasm. It's also been shown that using vibration can shorten the time between orgasms in women. So women who tend to have multiple orgasms with vibration are also more likely to have multiple orgasms with their partner. Number five reason is that it can improve your relationship. In multiple studies, when they've asked couples who are open to their partner masturbating, men reported 
that women using a vibrator actually takes the pressure off them to make sure their partner orgasms. And potentially in patients who have limited energy or easily fatigued, it offers an alternative option. Most people who had partners who used vibrators said it actually enhanced their sexual relationship. And also it just provides a new avenue and new sensations to try out in foreplay or during intercourse that can really add a sense of adventure or excitement. Number six, it can be used by yourself or with your partner, so why not try it? It's a great way, of course, to achieve orgasm by yourself quickly and reliably, but also a great way to, again, as I mentioned earlier, experiment with your partner and provide more interesting ways of achieving sexual intimacy. Number seven, it's extremely versatile. You can use it for clitoral, vaginal, anal stimulation. You can use it with different speeds and different patterns to really identify what you like best and bring that knowledge to your partner when you're having sex and both of you will have a better and more enjoyable sexual experience. As always, I hope you enjoyed this and remember to take care of yourself because you are worth it.